Okay, now we have to um, go all the way to Kakariko to get the um, well, the thing that uh, that she told you about. Because apparently you need that to get into the forest temple. So, guess there's nothing you can do. And as you can see, it's Hyrule Town is pretty much in ruin. Although Hyrule Field is pretty much exactly the same. Uh, as adult link, things are going to be a lot more challenging from here on out. And most of the temples, I'd say, will take me at least uh, three or four videos to get through, minimum. And some of them are really hard too, or not really hard, just really annoying. Especially the water temple. Ugh. Anyway, we'll deal with that when we um, well, when we get there. So anyway, Takariko Village is a little different. You know, building that wasn't there seven years ago. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Like, there's a bunch of little extra stuff you can do before actually going on to the first temple. And, uh, I don't know, I suppose I'll do all that. Okay, well, not all of it. There is one thing I will do, though. Um, it is, well, it's not really optional. You have to get it. You have to get it. But, uh, yet, uh, it depends on you when you get it, actually, so. Uh, I will be getting, after this, I will get Epona right away. I usually do. It's just quicker to get it now. Yeah, so uh, she told you to come here, and uh, I don't remember how you actually find this out. I, I don't remember if she told you or not. Ow. But you have to go here, and that gr old creepy graveyard dude died within seven years you were sealed away. Ow. I almost never hit these flames, what the hell. And, um... Yeah, so he died, now he's a ghost. And you have to, uh... Race him. Which, ow. Why am I... That's the third one, dude. Which is kind of unfair, because he throws fire at you, and he floats. And, Navi, I'm not going to answer you. I'm, I'm busy at the moment. Oh, God! Dude, you're worse than a Poe, seriously. Oh, jeez. Even after doing this so many times, I still get a little nervous. But this is pretty much the end of it right now. Come on. And you speak to him. Yeah, young man, you were very quick to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hook Shop. This is the so-called treasure you need. Hmm. Wow, I just had kind of like a feeling of nostalgicness right there after saying that word Hook Shop. I don't know why. I guess this game will do that to you. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The hook shot actually isn't that great until it becomes, you know, you find the, uh, or get the long shots. Which won't be for a while yet. Okay. So that, the uh, block is you know blocking your way and you have to play the song of time to get disappear and instead of having to make all your way blah, blah, instead of having to make your way all the way back I think I can't that right you just do that and you come up here and you're in the windmill and do not jump down right away that's something you don't want to do cuz yep there's a piece of heart right here that you can just get real quick. So make sure to get that. Uh, I think I only got three pieces right now. Okay, and uh, talk to this dude real quick while you're here. 
and use your ocarina. What? You've got an ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time, seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up his windmill. I don't know who that kid is. It couldn't be Link, because he didn't know the sign of time back then. But I suppose if you want to argue, once he learns this, you can go back in time and play this sign. And that's where he learned it. Because that's what you have to do. You have to go back eventually and play that song to this guy. Um, and it magically rains indoors. Awesome. So that's probably where that came from. The whole timeline thing can be a little weird sometimes. Okay. That wasn't something you had to get, by the way. The sign of storms. Not right away, anyway. It's just easier to get it now. And, um,. I believe I've collected enough gold sculptures, so I'm gonna stop in the house of sculptures real quick. Uh, yeah, see, I killed enough that this guy got free. It's like, can't give you guys a reward for you, and you get the adult wallet. Pretty much the most, probably the best thing you get out of these guys, really. Actually, no, I'm not going to waste time on you. He just says his family's been cursed, and if you can fix them, they'll make you rich beyond your wildest dreams and stuff like that. Hey, okay, and, um... Now, in order to get Epona, you have to, like, talk to a certain number of people, like Talon and Melon and all that stuff. I don't know if there's a particular order to it or not. Okay, so he's asleep. So what you have to do... Is uh, I'm not keeping track of my time here either. I really gotta get kidding. <laughs> I really gotta start and get into the habit of doing that. Talk to the chuku lady or the cuckoo. I brought a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the taco cuckoo. Da -da -da. Come on, woman. I got things to do and horses to get. <clears throat> Oh, come on! Yeah, so she gives it to you. Come on. Yes, yeah, so, oh, I have to wait? Aw. Oh. That... That sucks. I have to wait. Uh... I forgot about that part. Uh... Well, by the time this thing wakes up, and, you know, I get talent up and everything, I don't think I'm going to have enough time, even though I'm probably not at the limit right now. So I'll, like, cut this off here and start recording this again when, you know, the thing hatches, and I'll, I'll pick up from there. So I'll cut it off for now and start the next one where I wake up talent. So, bye.